Hello, I'm going to show you how I can be written as an infinite tower, power tower of real numbers. So first, we know that for any complex number z, this identity is true. z equals absolute value of z times e to the theta times i. And to visualize this, we can draw here the complex plane, the real numbers on the horizontal and the imaginary on the vertical, have point z here. The absolute value of z or the modulus of z, is the distance from the origin to z. And theta is the angle z makes with the real number line. So, now let's plug in i for z. We get that i equals the absolute value of i, which will be 1, because i is the imaginary unit, so 1 times e, to the angle i makes with the complex plane. And since i is right here, the angle is 90 degrees, or pi over 2 in radians, then times i. Now, from here, we can see that we can put in the place of i here in the exponent the whole expression itself, giving us i equals e to the pi over 2 times e to the pi over 2 i. And you can clearly see this loop can continue indefinitely. Therefore, i equals e to the pi over 2 times e to the pi over 2 dot dot dot. And we do not put the i at the end because the tower is infinite, so it never reaches the i. So this is a bit weird because how can the power tower of real numbers give you an imaginary unit. But if you're not convinced yet, here is another method that works as well to confirm our result. So let's say an infinite tetration of x or an infinite power tower where x is a real number equals i. Now we have to solve for x. We'll take the natural log of both sides, which will bring the whole power here down and leave us with natural log of x times x to the x to the x equals natural log of i. Then, this here, by definition, equals i because of this. So it's natural log of x times i equals natural log of i. And natural log of i is the same thing as natural log of e to the pi over 2 times i because of these of this here that we found before from here and the natural log and they are inverse operations so they will cancel which leaves us with pi over 2 times i since i is in both sides we can divide both sides by i and cancel it out so the natural log of x equals pi over 2 now the inverse operation of natural log as we said is e so 
we're gonna raise e to the power of both sides so e to the natural log of x equals e to the pi over 2 giving us x equals pi over 2 but then we substitute back here giving us i equals e to the pi over 2 times e to the pi over 2 indefinitely so the two results match therefore i think this statement is true